Anyway, uh, from the jerks, I get Reverbot vibes. I also get a little bit of That's Castle in the Sky. I don't remember what the robot was called. It might just be called Robot. It might oh. be called like Sky Golem or something like that. Oh, like in like in the One Eye. It kind of. Oh, that bike's like new. It's like new. Probably belonged to somebody. It had a sick, nasty parking job there. Okay. On we go. Sixty-four on ramp. Ooh. Five blocks, blocks down. down. Take, Take the second, second right. right. Don't turn left. Don't turn, turn left. left. Okay. And thanks for the lift. Of course. You're my best friend, my confidant, maybe my lover. I don't know us. <laughs> You're just guessing. Uh huh. Right. What if that's your brother? You turn left. Hold it. Just hold it, babe. Thought we were gonna skip town. Things. They do not have a sense of humor. Burr. They will track you down, wipe Burr. you out, and take whatever's left of me. Did you notice that Rod uh, Civil Rise has one of those on her Yep. And her hat. We have to fight the four heavenly kings of uh, of our school. Do me a favor. God, same as Don't let me go. Never let go. So you're thinking, what do you think the relationship between the two is? Or is there one? Um, my dad created him so that I could fight my mom, who is evil. Mm -hmm. It's not all kill a kill, babe. It's all kill a kill. It's not all kill a kill, He's babe. definitely sin kits. <laughs> Poor bike. She just hit the wall. Mm -hmm. I'll free the bike. Your breach just go through all of those. I feel more accomplished this way. Okay. You're free now. You're all just gonna regenerate. Aww. Yeah, you can get her just a few free hits with your like outside of this. Mm -hmm. Can I get both of them? I don't think you got any of them. Just like yeah, there you go. Well, I see. One. Oh, he's upgraded. Sure are, pal. Oh, he's got three times cutting beams. Uh, if you'll remember correctly, babe, the uh, the level three ones also suck you in. Hate it. They are kind of rough. You still haven't fought any fetches. And in my opinion, they are the hardest to fight. Like, by a, a wide, a wide margin. Back oh, you're gonna miss that guy. You're gonna miss him. Oh, you got a little time. There you go. Here we go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen at home, I and everyone in between. To execute. I'm uh, really bad with the controls on this game for some reason. Uh, because you're not a pro OG gamer. Uh, yeah, you're right. You need to 360 no scope these bad cells. I would love. What? Well, speaking of 360, uh, they have those pro controllers with like the buttons on the back. And oh. I think they just introduced one for the Xbox. I would love one of those. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they don't have them for PS4. Nope. Uh, no, but do you feel do you feel like this controller is too small for you though? It is a little bit. I feel like it's perfect for me. I. uh... Do you remember the Duke for for the original Xbox? <laughs> I remember that. Oh, Junction Jans. Not a soul. Not a soul. Recognize this place without the foot traffic. Huh. Uh, yeah, I remember that brick with a wire attached to it. I that was the perfect size controller. I know it was for my middle school or high school hands. And then they realized like normal people <laughs> couldn't hold that controller. Wasn't it like originally because of the Japanese market they had to open up a smaller controller and then everyone else is like, boy howdy. Mm. Oh, no, go talk to the NPC. I do not know. Terminal still up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if that's the reason they did it, that's stupid because the Xbox is practically non-existent over here. Must be starving. Satisfy your craving with a complimentary Junction Jan's gourmet flatbread. I think it's a pizza. Or like her little thing really the pizza. only choice here. Supremo Deluxe Harvest Garden Sea Monster Mystery Jans. You probably don't want the sea monster because of you. Because of my allergies. Uh, Harvest Garden would probably be pretty good. I don't know what the Mystery Jans is. But Supremo probably has pepperoni. Yeah, it probably does. So Harvest Garden. Or that. Just have to get back to your place before it gets cold. Oh, okay. Have a good one. Sounds JJ. good. JJ's oh. diner. Whoa, they don't like me ordering food. Show them what we think of them. Nice. Then you should just be able to take out that creep. No problem, though. No problem, though. Cosmo. 
Oh, he's protected though. Nah, just load him up on breach. Oh, look how small the area you're boxed in. Do you see that? Suck it, nerd. Uh, they won't like see you sometimes if you're standing on the other side of those. So try to use that for your advantage. Get dumb dumb. I was talking to the viewers at home about something. I can't remember what it was. The beautiful oh, people. Uh, the little cells will uh, turn into like if you don't pick them up in time, mm -hmm. they will not just disappear. They'll turn into another bad guy. Sometimes they come back full on as what they were. Other times they will be. Uh... Yeah, isn't that neat. <laughs> Can you hum? So my voice is lost, but I can still hum. Yeah. Okay. There's probably more to that. I'm not well, going she to. She also kind of grunts. Mm. Mm. Well, all humming is is just kind of grunting with style. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh, look at oh. that ghost. Do you see that ghost? I think they're peoples, like peoples that uh, are incognito. Dead ghosts. Uh, but uh, yeah, those guys will regenerate into stuff. Where's all the people? I wonder where everybody's going. Yeah. What could it be? Man, oh, function files cool. are updated. That's what you want to look for. Uh, okay. So now we can start looking at these. So this is red. More than just a name to them now. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, Crash, which is the main power we've been using, one of the ones we started off with, is attached to the main character. Uh, so all of the functions are actually derived from characters you encounter. So we picked up a few from those corpses. I was about to say characters, more like corpses. <laughs> <laughs> Every character is post-mortem. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is, uh, Crash is going to give us a little information on Red, and they actually put out a lot of the plot. Uh -huh in these. So we know from Red's background that she's ranked the top percentile of uh, Cloudbank's contemporary performing artists for five years. Red demonstrated early interest in music despite sweating at Traverson Hall. Traverson grew in many of the city's most ambitious civic planners. Though Red spent the majority of her time developing the city's, uh, the Academy's nascent arts program and was the first on record to select two non-traditional disciplines. I don't know what's considered a non-traditional discipline. Well, I mean, in this case, it's all computrons and architecture, right? So wouldn't it be, like, Just programming? Or? Music at all in a in a engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, records indicate that she was reluctant to explain, citing personal reasons. She remained reticent even after gaining the spotlight and when asked about her past and influences would often say her work spoke for itself. She did admit, however, that she never wrote her music with the intent to disturb controversy. Road to hell and stuff, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, uh, go back into that real quick. Oh, okay. You see how it says uh, install and use function in an upgrade slot to learn more? Exactly. That's uh, what I want to do. Those other two are uh, upgrade slot and then the third's passive, which I don't think we've unlocked yet. We have not. You probably have to hit level two or three. Yep. So three I will go ahead and remove Crash. Okay. And I will attach it to Breach. Okay. For the time being. Which you, and you're just going to mm -hmm. do stealth as your main thing? Yeah. Just for one battle. I'm going to try and be stealthy. Yeah. It's going to be hard. Uh, you should actually hit super hard uh, when you do it. When I'm sneaky beaky? Yeah. Okay. And um, because of the way you're set up now, you might... Uh, doing crash makes you want to set up like combos, right? Uh-huh. That might not be the best thing. You might now want to use like, bre like cloak, breach, and then jaunt away. Okay. But it's all kind of depending on what you're, what you're fighting and all that. Speaking of breach... You've reached the hopefully not permanent address of Mr. Nobody. Uh-huh. So, mystery. Mm-hmm. Error, subject background data corrupted during integration, reason unknown. So, as you might have seen, uh, we pulled the transistor out of this guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, straight out. Yeah. So I think that uh, was not part of the... Like integration process. Yes. Like we pulled, like the other the two corpses we found, we kind of pulled them from uh, they whatever were was left of their bodies. Yeah. So I think it's a different transfer process. Let's inspect this function. Lillian Platt. Lillian Platt. Said she left for personal reasons. Mm -hmm. 
One of the preeminent scientific minds in Cloudbank, Ms. Lillian Platt was the youngest ever individual to be elected as chairwoman of the OVC board. Under her leadership, the number of OVC terminals in Cloudbank more than doubled and the quality of the broadcast strengthened more than fourfold. However, she then became the youngest ever individual to leave the post as she tendered a resignation in less than two years to pursue extracurricular interests. In private conversations, several of her former colleagues indicated that Ms. Platt left following the sudden disappearance of a close personal friend, Mr. Maximilius Darzi, who, according to official OVC transcripts, decided one day to move to the country. That's suspicious. I remember how I told you to remember the, the phrase, move to the country. Yeah, uh, it's like told sending you your dog to the farm. Told you that yesterday. Uh, mm. That might not be the correct connotation. Mm. Uh, but actions taken, personal records show that Miss Platt was preoccupied with certain rumors and urban legends concerning the, an unusual phenomenon cited in the northwestern corner of the city. Impossible connections between this and the rash of disappearances during the last 12 months. For undisclosed reasons, she did not wish to involve authorities. Her access to privileged OVC information may have contributed to her decision. Other records show she engaged in clandestine discu discussions with individuals claiming to have knowledge of the circumstances surrounding her friend's disappearance. She arranged to meet with them one night at an unmarked port near Goldlock Bay, mm -hmm. which is where we just was. Yep. Now we have Jaunty. Your favorite guy, Preston Mr. Moore. Preston Moyle. Yes, he he's, he's your favorite guy. <laughs> he's not your favorite guy? Uh, I'm sure I haven't met my favorite guy. He's cool, but... Oh, is that true? Yeah, I'm sure you, there's plenty of cool guys is what I'm saying. You don't like this Fred Astaire putting on the Ritz-ass motherfucker? <laughs> oh, he's Taco? He's, he's basically Taco. He's 100% Taco. He's the most... Uh, he's Rico Suave Taco Grande. He's the most uh, bootlegging looking guy I've ever seen. The prohibition. He's the beer baron. He's gotta be, right? He's also uh, the super fast speed man. He's Racer X. Alright, stop talking to read He's the thing. He's Harika Tino. No, read the thing. <laughs> Cloudbank's racing circuit never knew the likes of Preston Moyle, who shattered speed records with a plum for over four years straight. Credited with popularizing the sport of. 1,200cc racing, Mr. Moyle gained celebrity not merely for his exceptional riding ability, but also because he built his motorbikes with his own hands. Ever the thrill seeker, Mr. Moyle became known for seeking out cloud banks for remotest strips of road. Then one day, Mr. Moyle was altogether gone, having left all of his personal effects behind, save for his fastest bike. No, he might, wouldn't leave that shit behind. I might just be super ignorant and dumb, but... Uh... Do you have to have, be like an amazing driver to shatter a speed record, or do you just have to have an amazing vehicle? Uh, you gotta be an amazing driver not to crash when you're going real fast, don't you think? I guess on like certain courses, but I, uh, maybe that's what it is. Because I, I, I just keep, in my head, it's just like a, a ten mile stretch of straight road and who can go the fastest. So oh, I was thinking seem... it's Mario Kart, so it's at least a circle. Uh, maybe there's some banana peels. That's probably way more accurate than my own little dumb. Yeah. Yeah. So he's probably constantly doing that leany like meow, meow. So if you want to, uh, in when I did this, my first game, you're in the beginning, so the game's yeah. a little bit kind of easy. Mm. So this is when I was just pulling everything off of everything and sticking it in every hole I could, just <laughs> yeah. to kind of uh, get all of the information I, I could. That's basically what I asked you. This is my guy. Thought the admins put him away. Do you want to read about your guy? This is Shomar Shasper. Kyle even looks a little like Shomar. Do I? I don't have that chin. You don't. You don't have the chin, but the, or that smile. You you have those a bedroom you, eyes. You have a little sheepy smile, and you do have sleepy eyes like that. Uh, some of the bedroom eyes mean. Yeah, you gotta go to the bedroom, go sleep. <laughs> All right. Uh, background: Considered the most elusive entertainer in Cloud Bank by twelve percent of the population, Mr. Shomar Shasper earned his reputation through numerous. Absurd public pranks and other daring or ill-advised feats. That means nothing. That thus, sentence means nothing. <laughs> uh, eh. uh, thus he earned the nickname The Magician from his many thousands of fans. Vanessa! And enjoyed executing highly unusual, unscheduled performances in Cloudbank's most bustling neighborhoods. His acts grew more ambitious over time, culminating in his promise to sky drop into a restricted region of Goldwalk and walk right out, escaping administrative detection. See the change Hell's Cloud Bank Scroll down. After constructing his oh. personal glider, named Vanessa, Mr. Fisk sailed forth one evening from a high-rise rooftop to the delight of thousands of onlookers at the ground level, Vanessa. 
Onlurkers lost visibility. You got tired of, of that? I got tired of Vanessa. <laughs> Onlurkers lost visibility of him as he flew into the dense fog hanging over Goldwalk, though their cheering continued for more than 40 minutes. Mr. Shazberg, meanwhile, completed his skydrop very much as planned. What he did not expect was that several individuals were waiting there for him when he touched down. Boom, boom, boom. Dramatic reverb. So, uh, we're getting all of our powers, our functions, mm -hmm. from people. Yeah. And what you saw earlier... Uh, with the process, and some of these people were in the, like, being broken down. Like, they're turning into the white squares, mm -hmm. uh, which, uh, remember when you said you liked those red and white buildings? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember what was going on there? Oh, it was, it was bad guy time. They were being, those uh, buildings were being processed as well. It's bad guy time. Uh, so, uh, that kind of feels like... The channel back there. Oh. Is, that, is that progress? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. You might want to go check the other way. Uh, just to see if there's anything there. Oh, there's a bat. Uh, yeah, go back. See if you can go back. Like <laughs> ah! Damn it. <laughs>